Hi, welcome back. This is Anthony. We're back here with the Sharp 70 inch touchscreen. I'm going to walk you through some of the functions of the software. But you're going to have two different uh, programs here. There's the Sharp Pen software, and then you'll see another icon for overlay mode. So I'm going to start you off with Sharp Pen software. This is what we would use as a whiteboard. So as you can see, you got your toolbar on this side. It is possible to switch to the other side by pressing this button. Now toolbars over here. Right now we have a blank white page and you have up to eight sheets down here. It says one of eight and there's a button. You can hit the button and change sheets. You can also have uh, different backgrounds available on this as well. It doesn't have to be a blank white screen, but we'll get into that in a moment. So just going to uh, walk you through some of the icons we have here. Uh, open and save if you want to open a previously used file. Uh, you do that, you can save what you're working on right now. You can import images into here if you wanted to. That's this one right here. This here is your background. Right now we have a don't show background image, so it's just blank white. But uh, if you click show background image, you can see we have a couple different backgrounds, like a green chalkboard, cork board, calendars, uh, graphs, like this one right here. See, now we have graph lines up there. So, uh, very easy to change just by clicking on that icon again. I'm going to hit Don't Show Background Image. Hit OK. It brings us back to our blank white screen. Here's your print buttons. We have a delete button. Uh, as you write, that becomes an object on the page. So, you can select it and delete it instead of erasing it if you wanted to. Here's our settings. You can Change the settings on all three of the available pens as well as the eraser. You can set the uh, screen to work with the finger and the pen, which is right here. Or you can set it to work with only the pen. You can change your eraser size, enable and disable auto switching, which I'll show you in a minute. You can also turn the dual touch function on and off. So we're going to leave that alone for right now. We have three pens available. They come standard set at black, red, and blue. Uh, but if you click on one, you'll change. So that's the red pen. This changes to the blue pen. If you click on it a second time, the palette opens up. So we have different line thicknesses. We also have uh, green, yellow, and white colors available as well. There's also a transparent box up there. So let's check that. And we'll select a wide yellow. Uh, so this is now like a highlighter, and you'll be able to see the writing underneath that. There's also custom settings available. If you want a custom line width or custom color, you can do that as well. Undo and redo buttons over here. This one here is the mouse cursor. Just using my finger, I can write. If I wanted to use the electronic pen, I can just pick that up and write on it as well. To zoom, we can select the uh, zoom box here. You got a plus and minus button. We can just tap on that using your finger or the pen, that just zooms in for you. You can see your entire screen in this box. And as you zoom in, it has a box over what's being seen in the large portion of the screen. Dual touch is enabled. We can use it to also zoom in. Put your two fingers here and spread them apart. Now I just zoomed in 400%. Uh, we can zoom out as well. The little hand here, I can select that. I just changed my page. Now I'm on the second page. I can select a pen and I can start drawing or doing whatever it is I need to do. Need to go back to the first page? Well, you can just hit the button here. You can erase it. You select your eraser. If you click on it again, you'll have different sizes available. So we can just select that and we can erase the line just like that. You can also take your entire hand or fist, whatever you want to do, hold it there and you'll see the eraser box pop up and you can just move it across the screen erasing a broader area. If you had a object, let's say I draw a circle over here, let's say I want to get rid of that circle, you can erase it, but you can also select it just like that. You can hit the delete button. You can delete the selected object. You can delete all your handwriting. You can clear the whole sheet if you wanted to, or you can just delete the sheet. Once a product is selected, you can use these here to resize it. And you also have this little drop down in the corner, 
cut, copy, paste, delete, rotate. The order feature is pretty cool because if you have multiple objects that you've drawn on here and one is covering others, you can change the order to have something that was in the back come to the front and cover up everything else. If you wanted to import an image, such as a graph, you could do that and then you can draw all over it. You can save that image for later use. Uh, once it's saved, you can pull it back up in the software. You can email it to people. This button down here closes the pen software. When you hit that, this little box is going to pop up saying, do you want to save before you exit? Exit without saving or cancel. So you want to be sure to check out our video on overlay mode of the Sharp software, the mode that allows you to write over your live desktop instead of having a background behind you. For more information on this Sharp Interactive LCD or any of the other products we have, please contact us at touchboards.com.